Selective mutism, SM, is fairly rare. It affects less than 1% of people, across all age groups. It almost always begins in childhood around age 5, often coming to attention soon after a child starts preschool, kindergarten, or grade school. It's less common, but still possible, in teenagers and adults. In this video, we will talk about this disease, selective mutism, by answering these questions. What is selective mutism? What causes selective mutism? Symptoms of selective mutism. How's it treated? What is selective mutism? Selective mutism, SM, is an anxiety disorder in which a person who is otherwise capable of speech becomes unable to speak when exposed to specific situations, specific places, or to specific people, one or multiple of which serving as triggers. It usually affects young children, but it can also affect adolescents and adults. What causes selective mutism? There is no single known cause of selective mutism. Researchers are still learning about factors that can lead to selective mutism, such as an anxiety disorder, poor family relationships, untreated psychological issues, self-esteem problems, problems with sound processing, a speech or language problem, such as stuttering, family history of anxiety disorders, a traumatic experience, Selective mutism can also run in families. Symptoms of selective mutism Selective mutism can start at any age, but most often starts in early childhood, between age 2 and 4. The main warning sign is the marked contrast in the child's ability to engage with different people, characterized by a sudden stillness and frozen facial expression when they're expected to someone who's outside their comfort zone. Some children with selective mutism may show additional signs, such as anxiety, social withdrawal, excessive shyness, obsessive-compulsive disorder, depression, developmental delay, communication disorders, elimination, urine or stool, disorders. How's it treated? The most common treatment approaches are psychotherapy. Mental health therapy, especially cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, is generally the first option. Behavioral therapy helps you understand and cope with anxiety and other distressing feelings that cause SM symptoms. Speech therapy involves working with a speech therapist or another specialized healthcare professional. It can be particularly helpful when SM happens with speech disorders. Medicines some practitioners believe there would be evidence indicating anxiolytics to be helpful in treating children and adults with selective mutism, to decrease anxiety levels, and thereby speed the process of therapy. The most common medications for treating SM are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs. Thank you for listening to all the information we want to introduce to you in this video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel.